The Green Green Grass of Home. I've listed this lesson under Tom Jones, probably because his version was the most popular one, but of course it has been covered by numerous artists, including Elvis Presley, Kenny Rogers, Johnny Cash, Jerry Lewis, John Baez, and many more. <laughs> so, then again, it really doesn't matter which one uh, you're trying to, to, to copy there. There are little differences here and there, and that's why we take a look in this lesson at two different versions. One is his version, which would be in the key of G. From there you can, you know, capo it wherever you want. He would be on the first, so then you have the absolute key of G sharp. Elvis is without it, the absolute key of G. Uh, Kenny Ru well. I'll probably point this out in uh, in this lesson. The uh, well, the first one who recorded it, Porter Wagner, I believe his name was in 1965. He was actually in the key of F, so he was uh, a whole step down from um, the key of G, the absolute key that is. Now, whichever you choose to to go for, it is really three chords, so you could be done in like no time. Just G, C, and E, and then you're there. Tom Jones's version is also in straight feel. Why do I say that? Because, for example, well, most of the other versions, including Joan Baez's, is with swing feel. So there is indeed a difference there. Straight feel is really this, all the half notes are like half beats, I mean, are equally long. So one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and so on. Swing feel would be more like one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and three, and four, with shorter upstrokes, that is. We uh, elaborately talk about that in this lesson. So, you could be done like with, you know, three chords, and that's it. Then again, there is still a little to add there, as in dominant seven chords for D7, for example, a G7, there are like ascending and descending bass lines. For that you of course need to pick out those bass notes in order to incorporate those, so that's a little thing you could uh, work on. Then what else is there? Well yeah, a C with a G in the bass for example, those really aren't hard things. But again, if you want to take your guitar playing, if you're like a beginner, a bit to the next level, it would be really nice to uh, to add that. If you can't, you're really a beginner, this is the perfect lesson for you, I would say. Three chords, keep the strumming going, and you're well on your way. Now, so, take a look at Tom Jones's version, or you can, of course, apply it to any other one, and then Joan Baez's. She plays it with chord shapes in the key of C. On her original recording, I believe, on the fourth fret, so that's actually like the absolute key of E, so you might as well play it in E, A, and B7, if you will. But in a live concert, I did see her, for example, on the third fret. Then it's, of course, a half step down. It's a tad harder because you have an F chord in there. There are C, of course, alternating bass notes. It is really nice to have in there. Again, with this swing feel. There. But, of course, you have F. A barred one, especially when you capoed here, you could go for a little one. It's okay if you do incorporate alternating bass notes, I believe. And also, if you do use a little F chord, you can have those ascending and descending bass lines as well. If you want to go for the bigger one, which I probably would, you can still alternate bass notes, but an ascending descending bass line works a tad worse. Well, not so good. So I would, for that, leave it out. So C, F, and G, or G7, if you will. And that is somewhat it. So we take a look at this version elaborately as well. Again, if you're a beginner, this is the perfect lesson for you. If you just want to learn the song, then you might take it away from here already. Transpose it to key of C, because I didn't show you that. Then you should be... Uh, should have it as well. <laughs> okay.
Now, green green grass of home. I never reali realized before that it was such a sad song. I've known it like for forever, but never really got into what it is really about. Yeah, so that kind of turned around my idea of the song. However, beautiful song though, free course. So, take a look at it at totallyguitars.com. <laughs>